Here we have a neutrophil. Neutrophils are granulocytes, meaning they contain granules within the cytoplasm. But you can't really see them, so how do we know? Number one, the name. It ends in fill, therefore you can memorize that it is a type of granulocyte. But more so than that, it's the nucleus. Notice that the nucleus is multi-lobe, meaning there are a bunch of little pinched off sections. To me, those look like sausage links. And additionally, I like to teach that in a neutrophil, the granules are neutral staining. Now these make up the most abundant of the leukocytes in a complete blood cell count, 50 to 70%. And if we have a neutrophilia, meaning an elevated amount, that could mean various things, such as an acute bacterial infection, um, tissue necrosis, or even stress. So think, clear pink cytoplasm plus sausage link nucleus, and you've got a neutrophil. Here we have a lymphocyte. Now, lymphocytes are a type of agranulocyte. How do we know? Well, it ends in site. Now, agranulocytes lack visible granules within the cytoplasm. Now, I like to call them little lymphocytes because these are the smallest of all the leukocytes. And how do we know that for sure? Well, notice that that lymphocyte is about the same size as the erythrocyte, the red blood cells that are around it. Lymphocytes make up about 20 to 40% of a normal blood cell count. And if we have an increased amount of lymphocytes within the blood, that could indicate mumps, rubella, mononucleosis, and potentially some types of leukemia and chronic bacterial infections. So if you see a little cell that's about the same size as a red blood cell, you're looking at a little lymphocyte. Here we have a monocyte. Monocytes are a type of A granulocyte. How do we know? Well, first it ends in site, and if it ends in site, that means it is an A granulocyte. And number two, we don't have any visible granules within the cytoplasm. Now, I like to call monocytes mighty monstrous monocytes, and that's because they make up the largest of the leukocytes. That nucleus is also your telltale sign. It looks like a kidney bean and if you imagine it like a Pac-Man, it will remind you that monocytes make up macrophages. Now monocytes make up about two to 8% of a normal blood cell count. And if we have a monocytosis or elevated amount, that could indicate a myriad of things, but two examples would be tuberculosis or perhaps a viral infection. So if you see a large cell with that kidney bean shaped nucleus, you're looking at a mighty monocyte. Here we have an eosinophil. Eosinophils are a type of granulocyte. How do we know? Well, first it ends in fill, and if it ends in fill, you know it's a granulocyte. But secondly, we can see those granules within the cytoplasm. That word eos, it actually means sunrise. And so think of the last sunrise you saw, lots of beautiful red colors. And that's exactly what those granules pick up on when they are subjected to the acidic red eosin stain. Eosinophils will also have a bilobed nucleus, meaning that there are two segments. And when we look at a complete blood cell count, they will make up approximately one to 4%. If we have a type of eosinophilia, meaning elevated amounts of eosinophils, that could mean some type of allergic reaction or parasitic infection. So cherry red granules and bilobed nucleus means you're looking at an eosinophil. Here we have a basophil. Now, basophils are a type of granulocyte. How do we know? Well, first of all, it ends in fill, and if it ends in fill, we know it's a granulocyte. But secondly, and more importantly, we can very clearly see all those blue staining granules within the cytoplasm. Now, I like to call basophils blue blobby basophils because number one, those granules pick up on that methylene blue stain very well, and number two, so well that they obscure the view of the nucleus. Now, basophils are the least abundant of the leukocytes within a complete blood cell count. And so they'll make up about 0.5 to 1% of the total. If we have a basophilia or an elevated count of basophils within the blood, that could indicate sinusitis, chickenpox, or maybe even diabetes mellitus. So if you see a blue blob, you know you're looking at a basophil.